Fort Collins got hit with flooding as well. That's where Courtney Yoon is this morning. Courtney, a good reminder for people to never drive through flooded streets. Yeah, good morning, Erica and Jordan. That's a very good reminder for people here. I'm going to show you some video in a couple seconds here of what this area looked like and why you would not want to drive through that. But taking a look at this area now, College and Myrtle and Fort Collins, totally clear now. Traffic is moving just fine. You really can't tell that there was massive flooding here last night. A little bit of debris on the roads, but that's about it. Now let's take a look at that video of what this area looked like yesterday evening around 10 p.m. This is the aftermath of flash flooding through downtown Fort Collins, caught on camera by Frederick Bryant. The water was deep, almost ankle deep in some areas from what it looks like, and cars were being towed away last night. You can tell those tow trucks were busy. Storms brought nearly nonstop lightning into Fort Collins and Greeley around 9 p.m. yesterday, and it was just a mess over here, but it has all since been cleaned up this morning, and again, cars are moving through this area just fine. And Erica, like you were saying, um, you really just don't want to drive through a flooded roadway. When you're seeing water on the road, you can't see the bottom. It's very dangerous. Dangerous. Um, you want to turn around, don't drown. The National Weather Service yesterday was warning people that at nighttime that's especially dangerous to do. Um, so all those cars that you saw in that video, obviously they had stopped, not gone any further than they could. It only takes a little bit to sweep away your car and flash flooding conditions. And uh, we've been listening to Ed's forecast all morning today. Ed, it sounds like there's more on the way. Yeah, Courtney, we we're in the monsoon moisture flow from south to north, and we saw some heavy showers and storms yesterday. We will see them again today. And now the ground is saturated, so really the rain can't soak in, has no place to go, so the flooding might be even worse today.